we began a quote by Al Ulbrichson. He was the coach of the U.S. men's crew for the 1936 Olympics. They were undersized, less experienced, outmatched. They won gold because he taught them to pull the oars in unison. Our God has gifted and equipped and blessed our pastor, the commitment that he has given to him, the sufficiency of Scripture, the supremacy of the Scripture, and year after year after year, decade after decade. He's placed the emphasis on teaching us the Word. He has emphasized to us, pull the oars together. He has instilled in us a, an affection for Jesus Christ. And because of that, we have an affection for one another. And so a very practical point of this sermon may be that, that we as Grace Bible Church, when we are convinced of, of this reality, a church that has affectionate unity. We may be a boast for our pastor the day that he stands accountable to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I would uh, just call Randy and Julie up as I pray. Lord, well, we are so thankful to be a part of this church. We are so thankful to have been instructed by you this morning on what a church like this does to its people, equipping them to do excellent ministry, to be lights in a dark world. Thank you for our pastor. May we be reason for his boasting, knowing that all his labor was not in vain, but all for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Um, in the uh, late 90s, uh, Julie and I were given a calling from the Lord to reach an unreached people group in the United States, specifically the Northeast. And in 2001, he led our young family from the Chicago suburbs to a small church on the Jersey Shore. Now, after the blessing of ministering together for an amazing 23 years, we believe with that same conviction that God has ended our mission here and is calling us back to the Midwest. During that time here, God, through all of us, has grown his church spiritually and numerically far beyond our expectations. This decision has not been taken lightly. It's been the result of carefully seeking the Lord's will through abundant prayer, wise counsel, and diligent research, waiting on his exact timing for nearly three years. So specifically, why now? Julie's entire family is in Western Michigan. They've all been apart for over two decades. Her parents are advancing in age and when contemplating the situation, I'm compelled to honor my wife and my in-laws. Also, we believe that departing now is the best time to secure my future replacement. Also, the church has never been stronger, and also our hearts. We believe the service to which we have been called is completed. Therefore, the time is right to pass the work to another spirit-filled leader with a renewed vision and new ideas who we pray will take the church by God's grace to greater levels for Christ's kingdom and his glory. Perhaps this also explains why our daughters have all moved to Michigan. We saw this change coming in our future. The only question was when. They simply went ahead of us and now look forward to our arrival. 
the emotional strain between choosing between our love for our spiritual family here and our biological family there has been overwhelming. And we have never in our lives been forced to make a more significant decision. And I hope this gives you insight regarding much of what I said through the series in Acts. Thank you for those several months that you held us up and the concern you expressed for us during those agonizing times. Yet as we balance the sorrow of what we leave behind and the joy of the new chapter that awaits us, the decision making is finally over. And we rest in the clear guidance from our good shepherd who during this time has shown abundantly his love for this church and his love for our family. As we trust him, may we all be filled with the supernatural peace that he is sovereign and that he will, as he promised, continue to build his church. <clears throat> This has, been, <clears throat> this has been a very difficult process for us. We spent much time in prayer. Grace Bible Church is our family. We love you all. <sighs> we have worked with so many of you over the past 23 years, serving and praying and studying the word, eating meals, enduring trials. We raised our family here. And we have been so blessed to have the privilege to be a part of the body of this body of Christ, sharing life together and holding each other up over the years. We may not have had our earthly family here, but you have overflowed our cup as our spiritual family. The memories that we have will be cherished. We want to thank you with all of our hearts for your love and prayers and support and encouragement and friendship, which are priceless. God has blessed us with all of you in ways that we would have never imagined, and we are truly thankful. Um, like us, I'm sure many of you are experiencing a, a mixture of emotions right now, and um, perhaps it will help if I answer some questions that you, you might be considering. Number one, who will be the next pastor at Grace Bible Church? The elders have been seeking the Lord's will on this for over a year. And right now, Billy Taylor is scheduled to present further information as it pertains to this to all of you in three weeks. Where will we be living? We have placed a down payment on a house almost two years ago. Our daughters are presently living there and they are renting that home from us. Will I be going back into ministry? Right now, I plan to take advantage of some unused vacation time to clear my head. It's been almost 23 years of intense labor without a significant break. I need to reset. I need to be before the Lord. I need to get my new marching orders from him. What about the church parsonage? For many reasons, the elders have unanimously chosen to sell the incredible home that we were blessed to occupy for the entire time we were here in New Jersey. It'll be going on the market shortly and sold to the best offer. If you know anyone interested in purchasing it, please contact Billy Taylor or Chris Rake. Is there anything that could have been done to keep the Smith family at grace? No. Our wise and loving elders have been guiding and supporting us every step of the way. They would have done whatever it took to keep us here longer. We willingly depart with joy and confidence, desiring foremost to be obedient to our Lord. When will you be leaving? As the Lord permits, we plan to leave when Shane completes his freshman year near the end of June. We look forward to four more months of fruitful and memorable ministry together. You are the best church. any pastor could ever ask for him. We love you. We thank you for loving us and giving us the spiritual adventure of a lifetime on the Jersey Shore. 
We are humbled to have been used in preparation for what we believe are the best years still to come for Grace Bible Church. And as always, may the exaltation of Jesus Christ remain foremost during this time of transition, after this transition, and throughout all of eternity. Please keep this confidential until after second service. We love you. Thank you. for our pastor. Lord, we uh, are humbled and shocked in uh, all the various emotions and because we, we love Randy and Julie so much. Thank you for how you've used them here and how you will continue to use them. We love you. Thank you for how you have used him to point us to you, particularly in times like this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.